Uh, thank you, Pastor. My name is Robert. My wife Holly and I have been attending the Rock Church for about four years now. And just recently, we decided to get more connected, so we joined a small group. Bud and Carol and the group have accept, really accepted us with open arms. And they really uh, they loved our story, so we're here to share that with you today. God has given us a heart for the homeless population. It started about six years ago at Christmas time when Holly's parents challenged her family with a pay it forward Christmas gift. Her parents gave each of the family members $20 that they were to spend on someone else in need. Then at our traditional Christmas celebration, we were to give an account to the family of how we spent that money. This was supposed to be our birthday present to Jesus. We decided to double the money and buy breakfast burritos and candy canes, which we passed out to the homeless people we saw on the streets. <clears throat> Seeing the reaction of the recipients filled our hearts with so much joy, it made us want to do more. Holly had been collecting coats and jackets from garage sales to give to a local homeless shelter during Christmas time. When we dropped off the coats and jackets to the shelter, we also passed out goodie bags filled with non-perishable food items to each person there so they can take it home with them and enjoy it later. After the holidays, we assembled more bags that we kept in our cars and passed them out to people we saw on the streets. We're here to testify that it truly is better to give than receive. But these bags were missing something. They were missing the God element that would point people to Christ. So we didn't just want to feed others, we wanted God to save their souls. I went online to purchase some pamphlets from a Christian bookstore, which I felt filled that void, but they became very expensive and added considerably to the cost of each bag. One of my daily routines is to read a five to seven minute devotional every morning from a booklet known as Our Daily Bread. Some of you may have heard of it before. It's written by a mix of authors and pastors, and it's designed to encourage and inspire others to become closer to God. The booklet was the perfect size to fit into our bags, so I called the company to get a price quote. When they said the booklets would be donated for free, that was my sign from God that that was, this was our missing link. God continued to direct us through the process in the naming of the bags. Recently, Robert and I volunteered to work at the community stores. That's when we met Bud and Carol, and our bag idea grew exponentially. <laughs> we shared our bag idea with them and asked if we could donate some bags to be passed out at the community store. But God had other plans. Once we joined the small group and talked to the small group about our bags, everyone wanted to help distribute the bags. So we brought some and passed them out. But at this point, we didn't even have a name for these special bags. We would call them goodie bags, go bags, or care kits. Then one day, Bud asked a lady on the street if she wanted a care kit. The lady took the bag, looked at it, and said, these aren't care kits. These are blessing bags. And from that point on, our bags had an official name, <laughs> blessing bags. <laughs> <laughs> God's plans are good, and his timing is always perfect. During the time we were getting to know people in the church, my childhood Janice from the Bay Area retired. She was the person who inspired me to go into the field of dental hygiene. Since I could not go to her retirement party, I sent her a card congratulating her on her retirement. She responded to my card with a letter. Being a Christian herself, she put into this letter a piece of paper with the picture of a cross on it which displayed the priestly blessing from Numbers 6, 22 through 26. Some of you probably have heard this before. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This was the blessing the Lord gave to Moses to give to his sons and Aaron so they could bless the Israelites. Since our bags were now being called blessing bags, I thought it only fitting that we put a copy of this blessing in each bag. Which I received from my former hygienist just one day after the bags were labeled with their official name. I know these bags are a gift from the Lord because he has orchestrated this process in every way. Even recently when we became short on the Daily Bread booklets, and the company said it would take two to three weeks to fill our order. It didn't take us two to three weeks. <laughs> we, 
We received our order just two days ago, and we were able to fill each bag that we're going to pass out today with a daily bread in it. These bags are not only a blessing to those who receive them, but they're a blessing to those who are delivering them as well. It has given us an icebreaker during those first few seconds of awkwardness when talking to strangers. <laughs> Once we present them with a the gift, they're much more likely to listen to what we have to say. Also, seeing the lack of others has made me appreciate what God has provided for me personally. I remember at one point in my life, before I was married to Robert, being a single parent with two young children, just how close I was to homelessness myself, like maybe one or two paychecks away. Also, the appreciation of those who receive the bags has filled my heart with joy, knowing that I am making my Heavenly Father happy. The support we have been receiving through Bud, Carol, Pastor Brandon, and our small group friends, as well as the success stories of their experiences passing out the bags, has been a huge blessing on us. I have worked as a dental hygienist for over 26 years, but feel like I finally found my true calling. So we, we want to share the blessings we have received by passing out these bags with you as well. We thought at one point we might not be able to make enough bags to keep up with the new demand, but here we are to tell you that God continues to provide, and here we are today. Ecclesiastes 4.9 says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. So we want to invite all of you to become a partner with us in this ministry by helping us pass out some blessing bags, uh, possibly praying for the homeless or those that are passing them out, and communicating with them on the streets or helping provide some of the treats that we may need to put in these bags. I know God will bless you for your efforts, and we, we thank you. Come on, give it up for Robert and Holly. Excellent job. Great job, you two.